All right, what is happening, champions? Here we are on Redshire in the big old frog, the KV-1. Oh, man, I love this tank. The fear-instilling frog, the uh, KV-1. This is the new match type on Redshire, the encounter map. If you look down here in the uh, mini-map, you've got the encounter map thing going on here. They spawn over here. We spawn over here. I'm not a fan of it. But this is a great match. This is a really, really fun match. And my obsession with putting the Ace of Diamonds continues. Uh, for some reason, I just love to put the Ace of Diamonds on all of my <laughs> Russian tanks. Sorry, it's one of my favorite cards. Um, but we're going to head up this uh, forest up here and get some real tank, heavy tank gameplay in. Because, as I've said before, this, this tank is really, really suited for heavy tank gameplay. In my opinion, this is where you get your first tank, or your first taste of heavy tank gameplay, is the KV-1. And that's why it's so glorious. This is where it's at. I haven't tried the BDR G1B. Um, trying to think of any other heavy tanks right now. I can't think of them off the top of my head. Um, but I just, this is a good tank. This is a really... I can't talk it up enough. I could never talk the KVs enough. I up enough. I, I love them. We got a T-50 here. Mm, that's 85 millimeters of hot lead traveling through your tank. Miss, which isn't surprising. Like I said before, this tank isn't a sniper. We hit him again, though. He's gone. Story of my life. <laughs> Weaken him down to Almost nothing, and then he gets picked off by somebody with a faster-firing gun. Faster-firing, more accurate gun. But hey, them's the brakes. That's part of playing a KV-1. It's part of playing any gun that hits hard. There's always a chance that they'll survive with 1%, 3%, 5%, whatever. And somebody else will finish them off. We got a KV-1 up here who's ventured up into the forest. I should be aiming at the side of his turret. Hopefully taking out a commander, a loader, a gunner. We just him. But for some odd reason, I keep aiming at the front. There we go. That one was a little bit better. Got tanks coming up on our left and right. T-40. Ooh. S-35CA damaged my track. T-40's out of the game. There's a Stug down there. I'm going to go take that out. That's dangerous. Unless he's got the big cannon. Doesn't matter. He's gone. Two kills. That was a bit of intense gameplay, but that's what heavy tanks are suited for. If you like intense gameplay, pick a heavy tank. You gotta be able to think on the fly when you're a heavy tank. Always have to be on your feet. Martyr 2. Gonna take this out. Ooh, one shot. Yeah. Martyr 2 versus a KV-1. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know that German sitting in the Marta 2 is just Fatsa Fatsa hell hit us Fatsa hell hit us It hurts so badly Alright, that's enough of my horrible accents Okay, so we've got the new Oh, KV-1 down here What kind of gun is he using? always have to treat him like they're using that dangerous 85 millimeter but he's turning his flank to me get into a better position to hit it uh, wow did you hear that ricochet wow that was that was beautiful he's definitely got the 85 millimeter didn't matter he's out of the play the AT2 on my right helped me with him where did that ricochet that could be it right there right side of my tank and like I said this tank is not a sniper he probably was aiming right at the hole of my tank and it just went to the right so as you can see we're winning quite comfortable uh, quite comfortably now uh, 11 to 7 but watch what happens believe me when I say this one gets down to the wire this one gets intense we got a T-49. I'm not a sniper, but I still feel like it's necessary to take these shots. 
I've driven, you know, the German tanks. I, once you drive a German tank, it kind of ruins you. If you, you feel like you can stop and take a shot, but you really shouldn't. Because German tanks usually will hit that. Their guns are just very, very superior in accuracy. Fire off a shot to scare him. Let him know that there's a tank still aware of his position and firing shots at him. So they've pulled it back quite a bit here. It's 11 to 9. We have to get to the cap. They've got some good drivers on their team. They really do. Zim Wisdom up in his BDR and Zeitkind um, in his T49. The KV-1's all right, and the AMX knows that if he stays in the cap, it just puts so much stress, stress and duress on us. It's just, we have to get to the cap. I took a hit from the T-49. He takes off my track. I use a repair kit on it because I wasn't about to sit there and get dominated. I can see him. I take a bounce. I believe that was from the KV-1. AMX 40. He's moving a little bit, but what's important is the T49. That's what's important. So he's moving a lot. Boom. Took him out. And now you know the AMX 40 sweating bullets, but I'm still getting hit by. I believe that one actually was the BDR. That one's the KV. No, that one's the BDR, yeah. I, I had that totally wrong. It might have been the BDR hitting me that entire time. AMX gets tracked, I take my chance, drive up, push this tank out of the way, take him out, reset the cap. Whew! Now that is an intense moment. <laughs> I've lost a track, and but in order for them to win, they have to come after me now. The tables have turned. Now I can hide behind this little house and take pot shots while they cringe. There's the BDR. Enemy armor is hit. I'm trying to keep the wreck of this tank in front of me in case of return fire. As you may have noticed, my health is not doing the best right now. Oh, that was a beautiful shot. That was a very tight shot. But there's my sixth kill. Top gun. I've been just clutch this entire game. But you have to be. When you're your tank's heavy tank, you need to take chances and risks. And sometimes it gets you killed, but it needs to be for the good of the team. There we go. Took a chance. Hurt him a little bit. They're saying good job on the top gun. I'm saying thank you. But I said it in all. <laughs> so now that guy, he's like, probably wondering what the hell I'm talking about. He says, we'll always have Paris, and I say, thank you. <laughs> well, okay. Alright. There you go. KV-1, Mr. Frog. And, of course, I plug myself like an asshole. <laughs> yep, Waking Nightmare on YouTube. I'm cocky, I know, I'm sorry. Anyway. <laughs> it was a very fun match, very good technical gameplay in my KV-1. Uh, in, and a new type of map, Encounter, on Redshire. Uh, not too fond of it, but this one was very intense, very down-to-the-wire match. Anyway, if you liked the video, leave me a like, and if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Take it easy, gents.